Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be making the mathematically correct Black Flame Blade build. Now Black Flame Blade is a very underrated weapon buff. Most people use Black Flame Blade the same way they use Blood Flame Blade. These are not remotely similar, the main reason being Black Flame Blade scales really well with Faith, as well as it can be cast a lot faster. It's around the speed of a drawstring grease. I have heard people claim that Black Flame Blade does less damage than Blood Flame Blade. That's not really true. So the difference between Blood Flame Blade and Black Flame Blade is quite large. Blood Flame Blade only adds at 80 faith using the Urtree Seal, 141.46 fire AR. And Black Flame Blade, using the same stats and the same seal, will add 229.87 fire AR. That is a massive improvement. As I said, it can be cast extremely quickly, whereas Electrify Armament or Blood Flame Blade will be cast slowly and you can only stand in place when casting them. With Black Flame Blade, you can cast it from jumping, rolling, running. Main problem that I see a lot of people say is, well, Black Flame Blade only lasts 7 seconds. With the Old Lord's Talisman, it can last 9. Drawstring Greases will last 10 seconds, so it's not that much time difference, and it does add a lot more attack power than the drawstring greases. It also has a greater benefit, which is the dots. The dots make this work really well against tanky enemies with large HP pools. Now for the weapon that we are going to be using for this build, we are going to be investing only into dexterity outside of the 80 faith for buffs. So with base strength and 47 dexterity, the Shamshir has the highest DPS. Now, for the full build, the starting class is going to be Wretch. That's going to give us the most stats to work with at this level. We're going to have 60 Vigor, as that's the Vigor soft cap. We're going to have Base Mind, Base Endurance, Base Strength, 39 Dexterity, which is going to be boosted to 47 using the Millicent's Prosthesis. Base Intelligence and 80 Faith to give us the most scaling from the Urtree Seal to make Black Flame Blade do the most damage. As for weapons, just the Shames here as we've already talked about, as well as the Urtree Seal because that is the best seal for our Faith level. For armor, we have the Okina Mask which is going to also add more Dexterity, that's going to add 3 Dexterity, however we are going to have less focus which isn't really a problem in PvE. We're going to be using the Fingerprint Armor Altered, the Gold Bracelets, and the Crucible Greaves to give us the 51 poise that is ever so important in PvE. As for Talismans, we have the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Millicent's Prosthesis, Old Lord's Talisman, and the Fire Scorpion Charm, and that's going to allow us to use Blood Flame Blade to the greatest extent as well as stacking multi-hit damage talismans, which is always good for PvE. For the Great Rune, as always, we have the Redon's Great Rune. For the Crystal Tier, we have the Flame Shrouding Crack Tier and Thorny Crack Tier. And again, that's going to boost Black Flame Blade to the greatest extent. Now as for buffs, it's a really simple buff routine. We have Howl Shabriri, Golden Vow, and Black Flame Blade. 